Can everyone stop saying dad? <laughs> Bluey hunting time. I was so shocked. Like, look at all of these. Bob Bilby, Cheddar Max, Mom, Dad, everybody. But no Coco or Snickers. I'm just, I'm never gonna find them, am I? Posed for like 10 minutes. Let me see the product. Okay. 
Is that me? No, no, it's nice. It's so nice. Oh, I've never looked better. And your face. My seven year old to draw hands. You'll find something waiting right there where you left it lying upside down. When you finally find it, can't wait to see his progress. Uh, I forgot about the catchphrase. If you block the words, Mum can't read the story. And why should I care? Because stories are nice. My story was nice. It had a unicorn in it. This one has zero unicorns. And the ending's boring. She just makes sure. Oh, don't spoil the ending. Why not? Because Bluey hasn't heard it. And why should I care? Unicorns, I'm trying to make you a nice unicorn. Okay, okay, okay. Please continue, Millie. I won't spoil the ending. Ah. Where she makes shoes. Yes, of course! Ah! <laughs> With the elevator, and then she also got her um, this playground set, which completes the car in the house, which Kyla already has, as well as a plushy bingo, this helicopter toy, and some shirts. <laughs> I'm very busy. Well, I'm sure you are. I don't like your tone. I'm sure you are. DIY with me. Another DIY for my son's birthday. Bluey coloring book. Here's how I did it. I got the coloring pages from Bluey website. Edit in Canva. Print in a paper. Fold in half. And staple together. Tada! Simple and easy DIY giveaway idea. DIY with me. Bluey popcorn box. Another DIY that I'm doing for my son's birthday is there's not a lot of Bluey themed. Um, party decor so i got these hats from the dollar store and then i got like a pack of stickers bluey stickers it's like 150 stickers so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the stickers and put them on the hats just like that and i thought about doing pom-poms but my friend was saying like that's doing too much so we're just gonna do that this is what they look like um now that i'm looking at it i think i do want to add like a little pom-pom at the top so i'm gonna have to go buy those so yeah <laughs> thanks for watching we finally have a good update. I peeked my head in the thrift store today and look what I found. I know you're probably wondering why I didn't just use this original set that I bought, but this was the most unflattering thing I have ever put on my body. So I am returning it. Ah! This was the original. This is so much better. I've got all of my fabric paint. I'm very excited to paint. I feel like it's gonna be the most fun part of this whole entire process. The sweatshirt absorbs the paint a lot more than I thought it would. So I think I'm gonna have to buy some more. It's looking pretty good. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I've been doing this for over two hours and I'm still on the first piece of clothing. I'm also gonna paint these ears brown to match chili better. I just wanna say thank you to everyone who suggested using paint instead of felt or fabric because I think this is turning out way better than it would have if I used one of those. See the difference? Ta-da! I ran out of paint for chilies, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to bandits. Also, just so you have a better insight to what this project really entails if you are wanting to do it yourself, um, I have spent probably at least 10 or so hours over the past two days 
dyeing and re-dyeing these sweatshirts and sweatpants over and over and over again. Now you may not have to dye it as many times as I did if you can find white sweatshirts or sweatpants, but I was using gray and all these weird colors and it just was a lot of work. All right, it's almost 1.30 and I've run out of paint, so I have to stop here for the night, but I'll show you where we're at currently. Chili's is looking pretty good and here's bandits. I've also started working on Chili's legs. This is it so far. I am a bit bummed because I put this dot here that Chili has, but when I put my arm down, you can't see it. I think it's supposed to be more like here, and I didn't realize, but that's okay. All the details for my son's bluey birthday party. When guests first walked in, they were greeted with paw print floor decals and a welcome sign. One of the first things they saw was this backdrop. I love how this layered look came out. We added some custom decals and balloons. In front of the backdrop, we had a kid's table and chair set. We added some floral arrangements. These plate centerpiece details were so cute. The party favors were bluey themed Play-Doh kits. All the acrylic signs had fun bluey phrases. The cake sat beside the party favors. We also had this little cutout of bluey. My son was so excited to see everything. We also had this bubble house. It is always such a hit with both the kids and adults. We had another decal with a bluey phrase right outside the bubble house. I loved these vinyl decals everywhere. They added such a special touch. We had a ball pit with slides. It's one of my son's favorite things, so I had to include it. Right beside that, we had a bounce house. We added a balloon garland on top. And another bluey phrase decal on the back. The kids had so much fun with this one, too. Next, we had bluey-themed treats. I loved all the detail in the cookies. And everyone loved these bite-sized cupcakes. We had a mobile bar offer signature drinks for our guests. Custom drink stirs and a bar sign. They were seriously amazing, and I wanted to do something fun for the parents. They also had kids juice pouches. I thought those were so cute. After everyone arrived to the party, we were so excited because Bluey came to visit the kids. They were so excited and surprised to see Bluey. They played together, took pictures. Bluey even helped us sing happy birthday to my son, Kellen. Kellen loves when people sing to him. It's so sweet. We had quite the full house. It makes my heart so happy seeing everyone get together. We had the best time celebrating with friends and family. It was truly such a special day. And I'm so thankful to all the vendors who made this day happen for my baby. Because we have three little kids and our neighborhood is filled with little kids, our house is spooky without being frightening. Last year, I painted Bluey and Bingo in Halloween costumes. We put brackets on the back so they would just slide onto rebar that was mounted into the ground. And there are such cute additions to our Halloween decorations. We got the new Bluey Keepy Uppy game from Moose Toys. Time to unbox. This short is not sponsored. We love family games and we knew we had to try it. We got one label sheet, nine pop tokens, pieces for the motorized base, one balloon, three paddles, one bandit, batteries not included. We need two AA batteries. Okay, here are the rules. When only one player has pop tokens on their hedge, the game ends. That player is the winner. All right, we're gonna play for a TMNT blind bag. Whoever wins gets to open this. All right, let's go. All right, the round's going so fast! Why? No! Oh, lost oh, one. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Mom's out. This is gonna be a long round from that for nothing. Oh. No! He's getting the Oh! Yeah. Let's go! Here you go. 